Hey everyone, Sasuke419 here, and welcome back to part 3 of Let's Play DuckTales Remastered. Now, I'm going to show you something that um, I haven't, I said I was going to show later, but this is the money vault. You can actually go in the money vault and see how much money you have. Now, I'm about halfway full because um, I have almost 100 million, and I'll show you in the extra video what it looks like once you hit 100 million, because I guarantee you by the end of this playthrough I'll have that. Um, but let's go on to the levels. I could go to Transylvania that has the other heart piece. But I decided to go to African Mines because you can get a lot of money in the African Mines. So let's go ahead and go there and enjoy the cutscenes. Find Gyro. Our next stop's Africa at the center of the earth. What treasure do you think you'll find there, Uncle Scrooge? Only the largest gem known to history. The giant diamond of the inner earth. So yeah, we're going to Africa with the giant diamond of the inner earth. So yeah. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, as you can see, I kind of kept the loading times in. Um, maybe it's just me being a little bit lazy. I am working. Um and doing a lot of other things so I know it could be something really simple but I just want to get these episodes out and I want to main stay productive I guess I should say I'm, I'm literally trying to get back into the groove of YouTube and everything and because I want people to enjoy some of my content hi lads this is the place I can feel all those diamonds singing to me <laughs> and it's a right pretty song too Gyro I thought you said this winch was brand new it was. It's an unbreakable diamond tether, Mr. McDuck. I made it myself. So long as you didn't use any of my diamonds to do the job. <laughs> What's all this hullabaloo? Your lunch break isn't for two hours yet. We heard voices down there, Mr. McDuck. Strange, g g ghostly voices. Nonsense. There aren't any the, 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 the voices doing there. Oh, whatever you say, Mr. McDuck, but your mine is haunted. You finish digging it. Oh, you want anything done, you've got to do it yourself. And believe me, if I hear voices doing there, I'll give them a good talking to. Now, you stay here, boys. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. The rock bottom, Mr. McDuck. This mine shaft goes down for miles. So yeah, apparently there's ghosts occupying our mine, and Scrooge will not have that because Scrooge wants all the diamonds he can get. I mean, I guess what would you do if you owned a diamond mine and, you know, since diamonds are so expensive, the value wasn't all that great because it's being honest, diamonds technically are worthless, but, you know, that's, we're getting into political stuff here. This old lift won't budge up, Scrooge. Looks like the key's missing. You don't think the ghost ran off with it, do you? Look, if I hear one more word about this mine being haunted, I'll start haunting it myself. A funny thing that I did not do in this playthrough, um, those crates that you run in, that you uh, see, you can actually hit those with your pogo, and um, you can get money. Um, or little gems in there. So that's something I did not do in this playthrough because, to be honest with you, I kind of forgot. <laughs> but, um, I will say in the African Mines, if you're trying to grind to get as much money as you can to buy a lot of your, um, um, anything you can for the extra menus, this would be the place. So, um, like I said, if, if you want to, this would be the place you grind for cash because, you know, I said before, if you find the secret treasure, um, you'll get a million dollars on top of the other million you will get for just beating the boss and getting the normal treasure. So you'll get, that's two million right there. But there's so much money that you can get out of this level. Hey, you found the key. Did the ghost have it? Oh, I'm telling you kids for the last time, there are no ghosts in this mine. About that, Uncle Scrooge. Something must have cut the tether line and broke the winch and scared away those workers. I'll tell you what scared them away overactive imaginations. I'm not about to let a bunch of silly superstitions stand between me and the giant diamond of the inner earth. Now, man the controls and load away, lads. 
But yeah, like I said, um, you can get hella money in here. Like, you can, depending, you can clearly get maybe about... Four million. And as you can see, there's a secret treasure that you can find. Like I said, that instantly gives you one million dollars just by finding it. And like I said, that just that just shows this game is a lot of exploring. If you want to get as much money as you can, you go there. Oh, and here's Mrs. Beakley. Mrs. Beakley, now where did you come from? Why, from home, of course. I had to be sure you were all right in this filthy place. You're worth your weight in gold, Mrs. Beakley. Uh, if you'll pardon the expression. Goodbye, Mr. McDuck, and be safe. So yeah, like I said, that was Mrs. Beaker. Like I said, um, sadly, her original voice actress, from what I've seen online, I, uh, uh, from what I heard, that she had passed away, which is sad. And like I said, I still, I still cannot remember the um, the name of the woman who reprised or who voiced Mrs. Beakley this one. But like I said, she has done a really good Mrs. Beakley. So um, besides her, like I said, everybody came back and reprised their roles for Ducktales, and. Like I said, I, I, I just love this game so much. I mean, I like the original DuckTales. Really, I like a lot of uh, games uh, Disney and Capcom has done. I, I don't know what it was, but um, DuckTales 1 and 2 were really good. Um, you had Darkwing Duck, which was pretty much a Mega Man game just with um, just with Darkwing Duck, which was amazing. Um, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers loved it oh loved it I loved it. really the second one was good not as good as the first but still loved it and I really 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 hope that we one day get a Chippendale Rescue Rangers remastered even a Darkwing Duck remastered um let's see what other good games there was Tailspin there was Goof Troop there was Aladdin there was Lion King well I don't I don't know if Capcom did Lion King but, like I said, all I know is that a lot of Disney video games were good. Hell, even Toy Story, if you guys remember Toy Story from um, Super Nintendo and um, Sega Genesis. I had the Sega Genesis version, and that was my favorite one. Um, some levels of bullshit. If you play Toy Story, you know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, so. But, other than that, I still loved a lot of Disney games that came out um, for video games, so. That's something I really appreciated. But um, anyway, uh, like I said, so all these chests that were hidden, that's pretty much what you do to get all of them. And like I said, since you're playing a Scrooge McDuck, this, I could make the game go by a lot faster by um, just skipping all the money. But, you know, what What would be the point? Because like I said, you're Scrooge McDuck. Uh, the real Scrooge McDuck would want to get as much treasure as he could find. So that's why it's taking a little bit longer. And... Um, I did warn you guys, um, these were going to be, um, these are going to be some long videos, so, like I said, if you guys want to watch them, that's fine, if not, I, I appreciate it, you know, I, I understand these are some long videos, but like I said, I didn't want to do a 14-parter and then do much more editing, you know, um, stop it halfway through the level, so I figured I'd just do the whole level, you know, if you want to watch the video and come back to it later, you know, that's fine, you know, so, that's why I figured that would be the best thing to do, so, um, but yeah, like I said, the African Mines, at this point right now, like I said, you can see I already have, um, 1.5 million, and, like I said, we're not even done, we're not even, what, maybe we're, maybe about halfway done with the level? at this point but like I said between this and the multiplier you can get a lot of money you know knowing where a lot of the hidden um, chests are where a lot of the um, gems are because like I said you want to get more red gems than anything else because the red gems I believe what 50,000 per red gem so that's to say that's why you want to go for as much as you can but um Anyway, guys, like I said, really, I'm going to be honest with you. It feels good to be back on YouTube. Um, just really, just for a hobby. I'm not really, I'm not monetizing anything because I'm, you know, I, I've been gone for a while. I know the whole 
YouTube copyright and everything and you know I I, I don't want my channel to be deleted because I've already hit apparently copyright claims with DuckTales Remastered even though these videos are not monetized at all you know apparently they said like the background music and part two the Himalayas was um hit the copyright it was only for like maybe a minute or so and then these um, background music in the very first part uh, was hit for copyright and it was blocked in Germany now I know Germany has their own little issues with YouTube with Gemma if I'm not mistaken how you pronounce it so I don't know like I said it's been a while but anyway guys um, I'm really am happy that you guys are you know sitting here watching me play um, DuckTales and see how I go about things so I'm not gonna say I know I'm really late to the party this game is three years old but you know like I said I really wanted to do this as my tribute to um, Alan Young and if you guys remember I had a version of this beforehand but I'll explain more about that afterwards Now what in the world do you suppose those are? Out of the way! Ouch. Oh, my aching tail feathers! Boys, did I not tell you to stay with Gyro? Well, we, uh, uh... Oh, I'm disappointed in you lads. It's dangerous doing here. Uh, we just wanted to help Uncle Scrooge. Yeah. <laughs> Hush, lads. Did you hear that? What a booty! Those must be the voices that Miner was talking about. You boys go back the way you came. This is no place for children. Yes, I got Scrooge. So yeah, like I said, I um I what three years ago or close to that I did have a part of, but like I said, the quality was not that good because like I said I was still using my dazzle, and um, using a dazzle was not that good. Uh, like I said, 480 if if that you know you can you couldn't see the text, um, it just didn't look right to me. So like I said, I'm happy to do that, and I'm gonna be doing other videos um, as well. Um, I'm debating what I should do next. Um, like I said, because all, all the videos, all the parts are recorded for DuckTales. So pretty much all I have to do is pretty much uh, finishing, finish the um, editing. And, um, or I really should just say voiceover, really. Um, just do that. And I'm pretty much good to go. But I'm trying to think, what else would I, could I do? I could do poking. You know, I could do some poking matches, some smash matches. Um, I also want to do... Um, Freedom Planet, because like I said, um, I really want to play Freedom Planet, and I am truly surprised I have not played it yet. I have been, I have saved myself, I have not been spoiled with Freedom Planet at all, because like I said, that's just something I wanted to do. I want to do um, something with it, but, you know, that's something um, I'm going to leave to you guys. All ten of you. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, because I know... Um, I know my videos don't get as many views as they used to, and you know, to be expected, I've been gone for so long. I mean, it's, it's completely understandable. Um, I know beforehand my channel was really popular at one point when I was uploading the Sonic comics, and then even the Sonic topics sticked off my chest, which um, I'm still working on actually. Um, there's a couple of uh, videos that uh, a couple of my friends from Skype. Um, want me to do, especially one, desperately wants me to do, um, I could tell you now, but where would, where would that spoiler go, but, um, just to let you know, they are trying to convince me, cause, um, I think I did a Michael Jordan, and, um, I don't think I'm a rancher anymore, I, I don't think I, I don't think I can get that angry anymore, uh, maybe, I don't know, but, um, I don't know, we'll see. And as you can see here, we're getting into the boss fight. You! What's the meaning of all this racket? Out of the way, stranger. As the king of the Terraformians, I forbid anyone to interfere with the great games. 
great games. Stand back. You'll interfere with the roll. Ooh, strange creature. You are disqualified. Yes, you're disqualified for unsportsmanlike conduct and roll and crash interference. Now, see here. I own this mine, and I won't be bossed around by an overblown fuzzball. Step aside. I've got work to do. Oh, so you're the one causing all the ruckus up above. Well, I have heard enough. So yeah, here's the Terra Fermia King. He, pretty much in essence, is the easiest boss you're gonna fight here. Um, all you do is, like I said, you hit him. Um, and then he's gonna roll up like Sonic the Hedgehog and spin dash his way around. And then after that, he's gonna blow one of two color horns. You know, like a, a golden, yellow, orangish type um, crown with a horn, which he'll just have boulders fall on you. And um, he'll blow like a violet, light lavender horn in which um, the terra firmians are just gonna roll and you just pretty much bounce your way and I mean it's, it's, it's very simple it's a very simple boss fight um, I think I may have took yeah I took some damage here but um, like I said it's it's a very simple one out of all the boss fights maybe the next easiest one will be maybe the moon may I mean all, all the bosses are pretty simple Besides the um the Himalayas boss that I kept dying at, I don't know why. I can't. I don't know why I did that for that this playthrough. But um yeah, like I said, you hit him I think five times. I don't know if they kept that the same in this one, but yeah, you do that and you're pretty much good. You know, honestly, if he blows the um the orange horn, it's easier to dodge. It's much easier. Um and there you go. I can hold up under your assault no longer, stranger. What is it you wish from us? Well, for starters, stop these infernal games. You're causing earthquakes, scaring off my workers, and ruining my equipment. It's now impossible to mine for diamonds. Diamonds? Aye, diamonds. Like this one. Though the particular one I'm after is a fair bit bigger. Oh, you refer to garbage rocks. We have no use for garbage rocks. They're hard and sharp, and you can't roll on them at all. You don't say. <laughs> uh, uh, tell you what, uh, I'll do you a favor and haul away your uh, uh, garbage rocks free of charge. Just keep the earthquakes to a minimum, all right? Agreed. I am proud to announce that the Terra Fermians hereby welcome your garbage rock mining operation. Uh, here, you start by getting rid of this one. Bless me, bagpipes. The giant diamond of the inner earth. So, yeah, there we go. Giant diamond. I don't think it's that big. I mean, let's keep it real. I think some the red red and yellow giant uh, bigger diamonds, I think, are a little bit bigger than that. But, you know, what can I say? What can I say? But, um, anyway, um, when you get to the uh, level results, you're going to see how much money... Uh, you can get from the African mines. Like I said, if you want to, if you want to fill up your um vault, if you want to get filled up, really, you want to get to a hundred million. Keep that number in mind for future. But if you want to do that, this is where you come. This is where you go, because you're about to see how much money you'll get. All right, we're pretty much already at uh, two million. Found the secret treasure at 3 million and the difficulty modifier. And boom, we're pretty much at 4 million. You can get 4 million, easily the most you'll ever get out of the entire levels. If I'm wrong, let me know. Gee, Uncle Scrooge, you mean there weren't any ghosts down there after all? That's right, Louie. It's as I told you, boys. There's a rational explanation for everything. Yeah, a whole kingdom of underground creatures who cause earthquakes as part of a game is a completely rational explanation. Uh, I... Never mind, boys. The point is, we made it back with a giant diamond of the inner earth and gained an entire diamond mine in the process. Now, where to next, lads? So anyway, guys, that will finish off part three, and uh, we'll be back with part four of Let's Play DuckTales Remastered. So we'll see where we go next, uh, then I'll see you then. Like, like, rate, comment, subscribe. Nah, I don't care. You go ahead, whatever.